Hello, I'm Brigadier General Linda Singh, Commander of the Maryland Army National Guard. And on behalf of myself and the 4,700 soldiers or so that I actually command here, I, it is my honor for, to be here today. I would like to thank AAUW for allowing me to speak with you today at your national conference for all of these wonderful women that I'm sure are attending and enjoying the segment, or at least the part that you've gone through thus far. But in particular, I would also like to thank all of you who are attending the military event. As a mother of two, I think that it's extremely important that for me to be able to stress uh, what it means for you to, to talk about empowerment, which is the focus of your conference today. And as you enter the business world, some things that I think would be key for you as women leaders. The first I would like to talk about is um, what makes us different from you know, men leaders? So what makes women and men leaders kind of different? And I think there's some key things that I'd like you to focus on from that particular perspective. The first, women leaders often possess the interpersonal skills that's extremely important in today's environment. If you look at a number of studies that's been done recently, it actually shows that interpersonal skills are part of the most important skills that a leader can possess. If you look at the President of the United States, the Secretary of State, the interpersonal skills that they need in that particular role is extremely important. And most of the successful leaders today possess that as one of their major skill sets. So that's one of the first things that I think that makes us just a little bit unique because women seem to fall more into what we consider to be the softer skills that's very natural just because of how we are in terms of our nature. And so the, the key thing is for us to be able to leverage those skills as we go into the business environment because that will just help us to be a lot more natural in our abilities to be a leader but also will help to make you successful. The next area that I'd like to talk about is once you start moving into that leadership role, what, what gets you there is not what you're going to need to continue to be successful. And that's not saying that you take everything that you've learned and kind of thrown it out. You really need to look at your skill set and look at moving outside of what we call that box. And that, that box is really your comfort zone. You need to move outside of your comfort zone and really step up to that next level and look at the skills and the gaps that you have in order to be able to determine what's going to make you successful at that next level. Anytime you move to a new level or a new position, you need to be thinking about that. Uh, don't get too comfortable in the fact that you know, you've already gotten there and you think that you've made it and that, that is deemed as you, to be all successful. Uh, you're going to have to continue to work at it. So success takes you know, work every single day. And, uh, and really success is going to be different for all of us, but I think the key point is that you're going to have to work at it every single day. And then the last thing that I'd, I'd like to, to really talk about is just being confident and, and really being able to command uh, the room and the presence. I often see a lot of women leaders that come in and they are extremely bright and very knowledgeable, but they do not command the room. And so when you walk into a room, when you walk into a meeting, you need to be comfortable in the fact that no one in that room knows that you may not know all things, right? They have absolutely no idea what your level of knowledge is. So you need to be comfortable in the fact that you can walk into that room, you're going to command presence by just be showing the confidence and being comfortable in what you're talking about. And to me, you know, if you do not go in and, and do that, then you're going to be kind of a meek and unspoken leader. And that can be challenging because then many may not take you seriously. So if I had to point to you know, three things, it's the interpersonal skills. It's making sure that you focus in on what's going to get, you know, what what's it's taken for you to get to that next level. But what are you going to need to be successful at that next level, which is two different things. And then the last part of it is really kind of commanding uh, the room and commanding the presence, whether you're in a meeting or you're at a, even a social engagement. And that has a lot to do with you know, how you walk into the room, your body style, your body type, and, and how you're positioned and how you're going to hold yourself just coming into the room. And if you start thinking about those things and, and actually saying, you know, I am a leader of today and I'm going to be a leader of the future, I think those things will resonate very well. So I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful conference. Uh, I wish that I could be there in person, but unfortunately I'm not able uh, to be there. But I know that this will be very, very rewarding for you. 
And I look forward to hopefully seeing some of you in the circles that I travel in in the future. And with that, I'd like to say thank you.